Just like you can balance a ball on it. Oh my god. All she wanna do is party all night. Here we go. I think we're sharp now. What's good you guys? Tish here. Welcome back to my YouTube channel and I'm really excited to get started and getting into the swing of things. So I get this question all the time. Everyone asks me, how do you bounce a golf ball? Whether you're a golfer, non-golfer, I'm about to teach you guys how. So let's get started. So firstly, you want to make sure you have the most lofted club in the bag. For me, that's my 60 degree. It could be a 65, it could be a 58 for you, whatever it is. But you can bounce the ball throughout the entire bag. It just gets harder because it's less lofted. So I want you guys to start with the easiest club, which is the most lofted. From here, you want to be able to maintain a flat pancake club face. And you want to hold this from down here. So you want to keep the club face flat just like so. Pancake. As soon as the club face is tilted like that, the ball will balance that way. Just like that. Just like you can balance the ball on it. See? Now one of the first drills I like to tell my students is to try and take the ball from your hand, try and drop it on the club face. Just like so. Try again. Drop it on the club face. Easy enough, right? So once you're able to let it bounce onto the club face, make sure you're trying to aim for center. That way the ball bounces up a lot faster and it goes a lot higher without trying. And then from here, if you're actually on cart path or some kind of concrete, you could bounce the ball and then try and hit the ball and then let it bounce and then try and hit it. That's a good way to practice as well. I have a lot of kids students try that. And so now, let's try and actually bounce the ball. This is the biggest problem I see and many people who try is that they start trying to bounce the ball. Firstly, you gotta try and hold still. You don't need to go crazy. The ball will only go where you're standing. And making sure that if your club face is flat, your ball will always, ba always bounce up. If the club face is tilted, it will bounce that way. And so from here, the biggest problem, just like I was saying, is that everyone likes to lift their elbow up and panic and you can't keep your club face flat like that. You want to make sure your elbow is nice and low, just like that. So by keeping that elbow nice and low, you'll be allowing the ball to come down to you as opposed to you trying to get the ball up to your, to your eyes, right? So keeping that elbow nice and low, making sure the club face is super flat, and staying in one position. No need to try and hit hard, because like I said, hitting at center is gonna get it right up to you. So the three most important things is one, making sure that you're allowing the ball to react to the club face. Two, making sure that the club face is pancake flat. And three, keeping your elbow nice and low so that you don't have to try and bring the ball to you and instead letting the ball react. Like I said, you could bounce it with any club in the bag. I can show you guys. Let's try a five iron right here. It's harder because it's less lofted, but if you want to keep the club face flat, then you're able to do it. Just like that. We could even try the driver. So here's my driver. Okay, again, club face nice and flat. start doing that try and see how many you could do and from here you can try doing tricks put in between your legs so once you get the hang of it you can even bounce the ball while holding a camera and my camera is pretty heavy check it out I can't look at the camera but you know what I mean that's it you guys that's how to bounce the ball there's nothing more to it all you got to do now is practice so tag me, send me your results. I wanna know how it goes. Once again, make sure you like, subscribe, hit the notification so you don't miss a beat. Thanks for watching.